This is the next job. Pond put in reasonably badly. Got a PVC liner which is punctured. Pretty poor quality PVC. Stones around the outside are nice stones, but none of them are cemented on, unfortunately. And we've got a big beach area at this side. The cobbles are all just chucked in and all migrating towards the bottom of the pond, so we're, we're going to alter that and put a nice big shelf on here to retain them. Take everything out, basically just strip it down and then rebuild it. That's the pond pulled to bits. We've removed the large stones from around the side. We've kept them fairly local, just tipped them over the back there to allow us to reshape the top shelf. We've whipped the liner out. There was a little bit of underlay in, a carpet underlay. Probably is covering about 20% of the pond. So it's there as a token gesture, no more. We've dragged the cobbles back a little bit. That'll allow us to build a proper shelf here to retain the cobbles and then just push them back in so they don't need to be moved twice. Same with the stones, once we get the shelves done around the sides we'll just be able to lift the stones back into position and cement them in. Right, this morning we've reshaped the pond, we've dug the shelves a little bit deeper all the way around the edges, we've created a new shelf around here, the idea being Put a little bit of cement all the way along here, cement in some of these fellas and then pile the rest behind it to prevent them falling in. We made this inner shelf around here a little bit taller, uh, i.e. a little bit nearer the surface because there wasn't much space for putting marginal plants before. That shelf was pretty deep, it was about 18 inches, which is no good for most plants. We've made another little shelf in the bottom here. And we've basically just flattened everything out, ready for the underlay. That's the underlay in now. More or less went in in two long sheets. That's one sheet. That's another sheet. We've sealed it with a heat gun. Basically just put a little bit of fire between the two layers and press them together and the stick. So now it's time for the liner. That's the liner in now. It's one mil rubber, Firestone liner. We started filling it up. We're probably is going to fill it up till it's just over the shelf here. Um, that should pull the liner in enough for us to work on this top shelf, cementing the stones in. It's pretty important to, to fill it up sufficiently so it pulls the liner in and makes it tight. Otherwise, if you just Bray on and put the edging stones on. When the line is loose, when you fill it up, it can pull the edging stones in and make a real mess. This is the edging, just about half done. We're putting a little ring of cobbles cemented in around the beach edge here. Then we can cut the liner off, pour the cobbles back over that, and it retains the cobbles quite nicely. Um, we've gone round the sides with stone, well, gone halfway around the side with stone. Obviously the water's still got quite a long way to come up, but we're going to stop it just shy of those stones there, just in case we get any rain overnight. We don't want it to affect the cement that we've put on. All these gaps will be filled in with soil, and then we'll cut the liner off. It's coming together quite well. At the end of today, we've cemented all the edging stones on, put the cobbles back in position, had a bit of a tidy up around the edges. The water's still got to go up by, hmm, I don't know, maybe eight, nine inches or so to cover the exposed liner there. But we're leaving it at this level just so it doesn't interfere with the cement. So, really, now all there is to do is just leave it for a couple of days, top it up and then get the video of the finished pond. That's about it. We filled the pond up to about six inches below its um, full level. That's to allow the cement that we put 
around here to go off properly that was the last bit of um, cementing that we did so it'll still come up probably halfway up these stones that surround the pond here it's reasonably clear because most of it is water straight out the tap although we did put a little bit of pond water back in it was probably about three four hundred liters went back in that's it another one down if you've liked this video click the like button give it a thumbs up haven't liked it, go away and watch some cat playing a blooming keyboard or something. Thanks for watching.